Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom where a uh, attorney is trying to get uh, money owed to her from a previous case involving this particular sovtard who refuses to pay her bills. Oh, joy! A sovereign citizen who refuses to pay what they owe. Yeah, sounds like a typical uh, sovtard to me. Trying to screw everybody else and... Uh, well, use some archaic BS to get out of it. And in this particular case, she tries to use her religion along with sovereign citizen bullshit to get out of the whole thing. But does it work for her? Well, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and find out if it does or not. Yes, Your Honor. Um, you know, this matter, you know, this matter was um, you know, a while back, Your Honor, twenty in, in twenty twenty. Um, you know, this was a legitimation action um, with um, petition for le legitimation to establish custody, child support, and visitation. Um, Your Honor, when we went to court, Your Honor, we filed a motion to compel, I think, in that case. Your Honor, and opposing side, the defendant did not respond. Your Honor, per that order, Your Honor, um, we end up filing a petition uh the petitioner ended up filing a motion for contempt, Your Honor, um, because the the court ordered that we end up filing a, a motion for contempt, Your Honor, because the the defendant owed uh, two thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars and forty cents of attorney fees, Your Honor. And I think that was encompassed because she failed to respond to the motion to compel, um, and the judge and Judge Barry granted me um, that motion, um, and Your Honor, we attached it to. The plaintiff's motion for incarceration, Your Honor, that was attached as Exhibit A. Um, Your Honor, since that time, Your Honor, we've appeared before Judge Barry a few times, Your Honor, and surprisingly, this is the first time a, a, a Ms. Lott has appeared since that petition, since our trial in 2020. Um, Your Honor, I've tried to reach out to Ms. Lott a few times, Your Honor, to no avail. Your Honor, she's been included on all of the email correspondence with the court. Your Honor, she's willfully failed and refused to pay the attorney fees. Um, Your Honor, last time we were in court, I think Judge Judge Berry, um, I thought she granted um, the contempt and uh, and stated that um, because we did request for uh, incarceration, Your Honor, and um, I guess we're here and just we, we're asking that Miss Lott is incarcerated until the two thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars and forty cents is paid, Your Honor. And Your Honor, I am asking for attorney fees for today. Um, Your Honor, and even me having to file this motion and continue to, I guess, seek attorney fees from Ms. Lott, Your Honor. What are you asking for for today? Your Honor, for your, your Honor, for today, Your Honor, I'm asking for fifteen hundred dollars, Your Honor. And I can provide my affidavit to the court, Your Honor. We had to communicate with the court, Your Honor. I've been practicing law since. 2008, Your Honor, I've been in good standing since that time. Your Honor, I charged my client a flat fee of the $1,500 just to try to see, um, just so we can file this motion for incarceration. Okay. All right, Ms. Lott. <laughs> Raise your right hand. You swear or affirm the evidence you're about to present in the mountain and here should be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Your Honor, are you judging me? <laughs> uh, if you want to call it that, but I, I assume you want to testify on your own behalf. Yes, I do. And um, if the, the attorney is not going to be sworn in, that is a conflict of interest. <laughs> Just how is this a conflict of interest? Because she at least has documents that back up everything that she says, while you have, well, sovereign citizen mumbo jumbo bullshit to uh, fall back on, which will not help you out in any scenario. And I have filed motions. I filed a quote warranto um, because. I have searched for law licenses and I have not found any. There's been no true judges since 1789. 
and the United States filed a Chapter 11 in 1933, which lost their sovereignty as a government. Huh, 1789. I wonder what could have happened in 1789 to make that happen oh yes uh, now i know it's when the uh, united states constitution took effect and replaced the articles of confederation are you one of these people that actually believe that the uh, articles of confederation are still in effect and were not replaced by the uh, current u.s constitution uh, yeah, because I've seen you people do that before, and you still go back to the U.S. Constitution a lot of the times. I mean, it, it, it's mind-bogglingly stupid. So this, I can't even be heard here. I have asked the court to provide me documentation stating that this is an Article Three court. Um, I have not gotten anything back from the judge um, with uh, any type of documentation from the Attorney General, from the Secretary of State, you guys have not had permission to try me, and no law is above God's law. So I cannot honor any of your laws. It supersedes every single law that you guys have given me. I have tried to settle this in court. I have filed a fiduciary relationship, um, uh, 56. I am friends with the IRS. I have attempted to settle with the $20 money order because there is no money um, with the court and everything was sent back. So rejection of payment is payment, Your Honor. And my sh religion strongly prohibits any satanic laws or rituals, and I cannot serve two masters. So um, either I don't even know what uh, to do here in this matter because I have asked to be tried in an Article Three court. This is not a court of equity. God's law trumps all laws made by man. God also says no man should be judged or you will be judged. This is my religion. I have not broken any of God's laws. I have not um, committed any crimes. I have not harmed my offspring. I am the first lien holder on my child's um, estate. So there is nothing that I can do for Miss LaFleur. And I will not be paying it because my God told me not to. He gave me the instructions on what to do. And you guys refused it. You guys refused my quo warranto because it wasn't written in the way that you accept it, but I am not under your laws. I have, I am friends with the IRS. I have sent out my documentation. I have my own contract with myself. I don't have a contract with you guys. I have not signed anything and I am not a 14th amendment corporate war citizen. I am a natural person. That is what I have to say. And there you go. Like I said, uh, she jumped right into the I am not a 14th Amendment citizen, which basically means she jumped right onto the Constitution and not the Articles of Confederation. Which brings me to my next point. If you are not a U.S. citizen and do not want to follow the uh, Constitution of this country, then name a country you wish to be deported to that is your country of origin. Uh, if it is not the United States, then uh, please designate that for us so we can send you back there and let them deal with you. And uh, hopefully they'll have better luck with you than we did. That is if they actually have any records of your birth over there. I mean, if you were born over here, then you're our problem. you have any questions for Ms. Lott or Ms. St. Fleur? Um, yes, Ms. Lott, were you present in court during for the petition for a legitimation with Tariq Crump? Crump? Ms. LaFleur, can you provide me your... It's St. Fleur. It's St. Fleur. It's not LaFleur. If you're gonna, if we're going to quote all of these articles. Make sure you get my name right. It's St. Fleur. St. Fleur? It's mm, St. Fleur, uh-huh. Well, just were you in court? I mean, I'm not sure if any of the articles could tell me, but were you in court? Questions. I have no further answers for any of your questions. I said what I said. This law does not trump God's law. I'm under God's law, and that's it. Well, anything further, Ms. St. Fleur? No, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Lott, we have an order that was entered back on uh, February 13th of this year saying you had 10 days to pay this $2,755.40. Do you have any proof that any payment was made? I have the proof here, and this was sent back to me. This is right. the money order that I sent to the court. That's Your that law $20 thing you said? Yes, it is. That is the settlement that is in, written in your laws. I did send the um, thing. They sent it back, and refusal of payment is payment, so I will handle it with the IRS from here. 
Okay, so if I decide to uh, send only 10% of my rent payment to my landlord and they reject it and uh, want the whole thing, then the refusal of the payment is considered to be a payment and uh, I can't be evicted for non-payment or anything like that. Do you, do you know? You know, that's a bunch of bullshit right there. Well, $20 doesn't, doesn't equal 2750 or any court fees cannot supersede to twenty dollars, and that is what I paid as a natural person. I don't know about any U.S. citizen. I'm not a U.S. citizen. I'm a natural person and a private American. So, if you're not a U.S. citizen, why don't you go and pick the country that you're from? Like I said, we'll make arrangements for us for us to send you back. That is, of course, if the country that you chosen want you, which I'm sure that after they see this, they're probably like, no, you can have her. You can have her. We don't want her. She wouldn't be a productive member of our society. She's your burden, not ours. Yeah, that'd be how it'd go. Okay. Mr. Crump, who is a U.S. citizen, however, has uh, also uh, violated the own court order that he brought into matter because my child is supposed to go to school in DeKalb County. And he decided that he wasn't going to do that, Your Honor. This man is abusive. And at this point, I am over this whole situation. Well, that's not before the court today. Yep. Because, I mean, at this point, I'll take it up with God. I have not committed any crimes under God's law. I have not stolen. I have not bared false witnesses. I have not killed anyone. I have not dishonored my mother and my father. And I have not put any man before God. And I will not put any of you guys before God either. Tyreek, back up. Mm -mm. Go back in. All right, Ms. Lott, I'm going to find you in contempt of court for failure to pay the 2755 order you incar incarcerated, uh, that is jailed, until uh, you've paid the money. I will be taking it up with the IRS, and I will be filing liens because you guys do not have liens over myself, my estate, or my child. So I'll take it up with the sheriff first. No, I will not because the sheriff does not have any jurisdiction. <laughs> Turn yourself in, or the sheriff will come out and arrest you. Jurisdiction over me, and the sheriff does not have any jurisdiction over That's me. Fine. Once you're released, I'll give you 90 days to pay an additional $1,500 uh, for attorney's fees incurred by the plaintiff uh, for today's proceeding. And I'll ask Ms. St. Fleur to submit the order. Will do, Your Honor. And include in that, the sheriff will notify the court when... Uh, Ms. Lott has been arrested. Can you guys provide me with uh, evidence that you are Article Three court and not a military court? And we'll, send, we'll send you a copy of the order. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything? 
It's good seeing you, Judge. It's been a long time, Judge. I hope yeah. the government is treating you well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the way to go. <laughs> well, Thank happy, you. Happy, happy, you. happy Thanksgiving. All right. Same to you. Yeah, we have no further business with the. I have no further business with the court. May I be excused? You send your order to Miss Carr. I definitely will. Okay. I put my information in the chat, Judge. All right. Okay, thank you. You're excused. Thank you. Well, look at what your stupidity got you, soft tard. Maybe you should reconsider all these gurus, what they've been saying to you, and uh, pay what you owe because. Well, if you don't do that, the well, they're going to come and knock it in. They're going to come and get their money. Not to mention that you now owe more money than you did before when you could have been making payments all this time. And, uh, well, making sure that you weren't digging your hole even deeper every time you opened your damn mouth. But, hey, that's a sovereign citizen for you. Stupid is as stupid does, and that is the maximum of every sovereign citizen out there to be as stupid as they can be until they've dug themselves deep, deep into that hole. Congratulations, you lame brain soft hard. You are a complete moron. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?